What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I hope we're doing really well. Now we have had patch number three um, that was introduced to us on Thursday. So I've had a few days to tinker around and play with some stuff. Now have some really nice players in front of you. My foot champs got me Sol Campbell, which I'm really impressed with. I'm currently Evo in Mendy. And yeah, that Awobi card is pretty good, as is the Angel Gomez card too. So they're two to Beaumont and they're very very cheap if you haven't done them so let's jump into the formation yeah the formation you can see in front of you is the four three one two now you can see the code top left you can skip everything that i'm talking about and jump straight into that code and see how this plays but i highly recommend you stay for an explanation on how this all works especially how the players work where they are you know where they're going to be on the pitch because without that knowledge you're not going to know where they are on the pitch and they are not <laughs> where you see them on the screen that is not where they're going to play trust me on that one so it's definitely worth watching the video and watching how this works and as i said at the start everybody quit on me every single player that i come up against over the last few days as soon as i've got one or two two goals up They've just quit on me. Now, whether it's coincidence or whether it's the formation, I do not know. But this formation is unstoppable at the minute. And it is so good in attack. It is ridiculous. Once you get a goal, once you get two goals, that is it. That is game over. This formation, it's just, oh, it plays so well. So anyway, as you can see in front of you, we have it on short passing and high defensive approach. We have it on 90 because we like the fact that it it says applying situational pressure. Basically, what that means is your fullbacks, your defenders will step up when needed. So they will put a foot in front of the ball, especially through that, uh, that through ball that comes flying through. They will put their foot to that. They will get their bodies in the way of that one. And also you get the auto offside trap, which is pretty neat. Now, I'm going to drop in the gameplay before I go to the player roles on this one. Because like I say... Looking at the screen now, it's a 4-3-1-2. However, in-game, it doesn't play like a 4-3-1-2. And that's why I'm asking you guys to stay tuned and watch the video because you're going to need to know where these players are on the pitch. So yeah, let me drop in the gameplay. I'll explain everything and then we'll come back and then I'll show you where they are on the pitch. Yep, so I will, as always, bottom left, we're going to transition and then you can see on your radar how it transitions there. So it's instantly gone to 4-3. One, two, so you know it's definitely worked. And then from there, it's pretty much game on. So yeah, from this particular setup, the reason I have the 4-4-1-1 four, 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 one, one is because I wanted to use wingers in the forward positions rather than using the cams or the strikers. So that's my thinking behind not using this from the get-go. But anyway, you can kind of see where we're going with this. It is insanely good. I mean, quitter after quitter after quitter after quitter. It was just constant people like, yeah, they were just giving up so easy. And this first game clip is no exception. And my opponent, yeah, after going 3-1 down, yeah, he gives up. Which is unfortunate because I like to finish these games. But, I mean, it is what it is. And, you know, it's a bit of a toxic game. It's, it's not great. It's clunky. It doesn't work as it should. So a lot of people are just giving up the ghost sooner rather than later which isn't a big deal to me i mean you know, even that through ball hasn't been touched people say it has it hasn't it that, that through ball is still there it hasn't been touched at all as you'll see from all these different game clips and then you can see at the top of your screen there he's already paused it i did think he'd put his controller down but he hadn't um stupid shot from rashford but yeah there you go that's my first one of my first quits so and we'll just keep moving this along just to keep showing you so we have some really nice examples on how this formation actually works in game. Now your left back and right back are they're obviously your go-to wide wide players and they are your get out of free well your get out of free out card basically they, they will get you out of any sticky situation in the respect of switching. Now the switching has been slightly improved, not overly improved but slightly improved so you can use that switch now but you can see where this is where the cam comes into play and those three players up front we nick the ball back in midfield because there's no space there anymore and then we get the goal and you guys you can see we're 2-0 up we get a nice lofted through ball i still high up the pitch our defense is extremely high because we're running we're running 90 uh, that little lofted through ball is still effective and then we get the third goal 
and that is the first person to actually quit on us during this this kind of stint with this new formation that we're trying out and then again directly from a corner the counter attack is insane look at this this is just mad not often that type of counter attacking works but obviously Rodman is an absolute beast in this game even though she's only 84 rated she is still a crazy good card and there's another quill but there's so many different examples which is why I say it's definitely worth watching these gameplay clips because this might not suit your type of style uh, a typical FIFA goal it might not suit your type of you know your, your style of play um, it might be too open in some respects and another quitter it, it might be uh, not attacking enough in some respects so it's definitely worth watching gameplay clips just to see how it plays and you can see here that we're using like the half winger there and then through to I mean that is such a nice that's such a nice passage of play there it's a nice goal as well and I've said it time and time again I'm a big big fan of these these well worked goals and you can see we're 1-0 up the guy he just can't break me down uh, so yeah I think he puts his controller down yeah he must put his controller down because in a second we get the, the connection lost message come up but you can see here how well the front three are intertwining and working together and they're creating their triangles and they're just making it extremely difficult for my opponent to do anything now this next gameplay clip is, is probably the most important one in terms of what I'm talking about later on in the video where that cam is going to be on the pitch so you can see the cam picks the ball up there hits it out to the striker if you watch the cam he's now at the bottom left of your screen he's making that 4-3-3 free, free effectively and that is what I was talking about later on in the video yeah like I say everybody nearly every team 90% quit on me it was it was crazy and yeah we do have some nice players now so we have Mendy, Militao, Courtois, Campbell uh, you know we have Rashford and Son I mean they're just and my bench is pretty pretty solid too but anyway you're here to find out how this basically works so yeah this is what it looks like with the ball it looks mad it, it looks totally bonkers it's a 4-3-3 free, free, but it plays more like a, an old school 4-3-2-1 so what you'll have is you'll have Rashford and Son that'll be high up the pitch then you'll have Gomez will be playing in between them two, but he'll be playing across the line. So he'll be playing between Williams and Iwobi. So he will be running backwards and forwards, left to right. And you will find he's always running where the ball is. So if you're if you're Williams, for example, Gomez will run from the right all the way to the left to, con to collect the ball because that's how we have him set up. You know, we have him set up as a half winger. And that is what he will essentially do. You know, it says it on the screen there. A midfielder who provides width when their team is in possession. So he will go left or right, right or left. So that's where your 4 3 2 1 or your 4 3 3 narrow comes into play. And then obviously you've got your Williams and you've got Iwobi, and they will play with half wingers. So they will they will give you your width. But when they are forward, so when Iwobi is in that gap, you'll have Walker bombing forward as well. So, I mean, it is insane. Yeah, it looks it looks really bonkers on screen, but honestly, it plays so well. And if you haven't watched the gameplay, go back, watch the gameplay, and you will see how bonkers this plays. And it plays so well, especially post-patch as well. So all those little things that they've like nerfed the Traveller, nerfed the Frugal, this honestly counteracts all of that. And this is such a solid formation. <laughs> I can't praise this formation enough. I mean, it looks bonkers on screen. But honestly, it is such a good formation. So yeah, hit that like button if you like. We see subscribe if you haven't already. And until the next video, which will be Friday night, everybody take care and look after themselves.